And another one of the benefits of studying the life of the Prophet, peace be upon him, is that it will bless you with the opportunity of imitating the Prophet, peace be upon him. And it's actually interesting to know that children, you know, if you see children behave, they are imitative by their nature. They, you know, human beings are imitating beings. That we always imitate something, the way we dress, the way we talk. My accent, I look, my accent is beautiful and because it's from Oldham. That's why it's amazing. And, and, uh, and that's the thing, when we, uh, if, you, if, we, if I changed environments, if I stayed amongst different people, I will eventually start imitating their, the way of speaking. I will start imitating the way they dress. I will start imitating even the way they look. You know, they say, you know, uh, even if, if you spend so much time with somebody, you actually start even looking like them. Which is amazing because you will come to study that when the Prophet وسلم, migrated from Medina, but the Prophet وسلم, migrated from Makkah, sorry, when he entered into Medina, he entered with Abu Bakr Sadiq radiallahu an. And Abu Bakr Sadiq radiallahu an, who is, uh, when you describe him, he's described very different to looking like the Prophet. وسلم. He actually started looking like the Prophet, وسلم, where people must mistook Abu Bakr Siddiq to be the Prophet وسلم, they started meeting him the people who because there were people from Adina who never met the Prophet وسلم, before and that's the thing when you truly love somebody and truly learn about someone you will start imitating them and here when we study the life of the Prophet peace be upon him we hope that we start imitating the life the Prophet peace be upon him if that's our nature and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that he has sent us the best example to imitate. That's why we, we study the life of the Prophet, because the more you study about him, then you will start imitating him. You will start imitating what, you, what he eats, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You will start imitating the way he walks, the way he talks, the way he smiles. We, we hope to be like that. So inshallah, we make that niyyah, we make that intention of not just studying the life of the Prophet to be a critic. If people have diseases of their hearts, that's their problem. That's the issue. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he used to be criticized at the time uh, uh, by his enemies. And they used to call the Prophet Muhammad Muzammam. Muzammam. They used to change the name of the Prophet, peace be upon him. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, look at, look at these people. They're trying to, they are criticizing someone named Muzammam. A man is Muhammad. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I mean, he wouldn't even allow something like that to affect him. The point is, whoever people criticize, if people want to study the life of the Prophet to criticize him or to try to find negative points, they only find those points not because they're present with the Prophet, peace be upon him, it's because they see a reflection of themselves.